and I hope you all enjoyed that last one and including including my little trouble I had with that IP thing but I assume you all saw all of it and with this all of it and was able to save yourself from the headaches so um now we're going to go ahead and um, continue on. Now it's time to set up Google Google Google, Google Analytics. <laughs> so easier easier read than said sometimes. So what we want to do is we're going to go to our website that we created. This is our little kind of fictitious website, but it's it's a real website. And uh, like I said, my kids had a app company when they were like. 13 years old, 14 years old, called our exotics. And there's still some apps on the Android market for it. Maybe Apple, I don't remember. But anyways, so now we need a Google Analytics and this is our sample site for it. So we go to our site, and mine is ourexotics.net and we're logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll, you'll find the login link. If it's not visible up there, look down here. I gotta log out, so down there. But if you don't see your login on WordPress, so WordPress 5A, WordPress whatever, just go to slash wp-admin. And from there, you can see the login, but we're already logged in, so here's the dashboard. So, but if you don't wanna go, go to the dashboard that way, just go to the website, go right there to your website name, go to dashboard. Again, I know there's some of y'all out there, it's like, I know all this stuff, I don't know why you're teaching. Well, you know, there may be some things you can pick up on, but if not, maybe my advanced videos later on, you'll you'll enjoy. So we're going to add new. So we're setting up Google Analytics and we're setting up Google Search Console. We're getting all that going because you have to know what Google thinks about you. You have to know what's going on with Google. So keyword Google after we click to add new. So went to plugins, add new. We search for Google. We see site kit by Google Analytics. Install now. First thing for me that I get installed once I get WordPress going on a site is I want to get this installed and activated and started because it takes a little while to get your rank to figure out what's going on. So let's go over here. Congratulations. Well, that was easy. Start set up. This is actually really, really smooth. Now I created a new email account just for this website. So that way it makes it even easier. So I'm logged into that, sign in with Google. So I'm gonna sign in with the email address I created for this website, it's ourexotics.com. It's actually .net, but it doesn't really matter. This is just my email to manage this stuff. Ourexotics.com at gmail.com. That's the email I created for this. We're gonna go down here and select these we did actually used to own our exotics.com. That was their deal, but if somebody took it, that's fine. So we're going there, select that, select everything on there. We want to give them access to everything. Click continue. Okay, so this is really easy. So I just want to walk you through it so you can see how easy it is to set this up. It, it seems intimidating and it might be on other platforms, but we're using WordPress 5.8 and the latest site kit, so. So you're a verified owner. They are right. allow our exotic animals to access Google account data. We're going to allow. Basically, we're going to allow pretty much everything. We're going to add site, set up search console. All right, congratulations. Go to my dashboard. Search console is added. Now Google Analytics. Let's see connected search console analytics connect service. And we're going to choose our email again. It's the email we want to use to manage all this. So I want to select that. Adds five services Sidekick can has some access to. That's fine. I don't think Google's out to get me. Well, I'm sure in the end, <laughs> but I think I'm all safe doing all this. And it's going, it's creating it. Propertyargzogs.net. All this, that's all fine. That's our time zone. This will create both the Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics property. Create account. You can pause and learn more about each of those things. Um, it's not really something that's the scope of this particular video. Choose an account. Same account that we've used for everything else on this since setting up Google stuff on it. And we want to allow it. All that. Make sure you trust site you trust site kit. Yes. I trust Google. 
probably more than I should, but I do. I enjoy technology. So if you enjoy technology, you just got to trust it. There's, there's some things you can do, but for the most part, you just got to accept it is what it is. All right. Now, we're pulling up analytics. Now we need to agree to the terms. Let's speed read right through this. Read it. Double read it. Boom. You don't have to do that. I'm just being goofy. I accept the terms. Now sometimes products explicitly linked. Sometimes I'll leave that one out, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and select it. It doesn't really matter. That one's up to you. It'll work without it. I'll read it to you real quick. Google products and services. Share Google Analytics data with Google to help improve Google's products and services. If you disable this option, data can still flow to other Google products explicitly linked to analytics. Visit the product linking section in each property to view or change your settings. So it works either way. I'm just going to give Google a little extra information there, but you don't have to. You'll still see everything. I accept success. Your analytics account was successfully created. Go to my dashboard. I'm sorry if you use another platform. This isn't as easy on. I've tried to help someone with Shopify and that wasn't quite as simple. But uh, there's, there's some others uh, that are definitely different. All right, so now what we want to do, there's one last step. It's not showing you here. And well, PageSpeed Insights. Let's go ahead and do that real quick because that's real quick and easy. That's done on that. So now what you want to do is go to Search Console on the left here. Now, it's not going to give us a link to it because it's still collecting data. So go to Dashboard underneath Site Kit. And scroll down and, all right. So you scroll down. All this is probably going to be empty for you unless it's an older, older website and you've done it before. Source Search Console. Let's click that. So you know where I was at. I just scrolled down through here until I saw a link to Search Console. All right, welcome to the new Google Search Console. Start. Now, this will walk you through a whole lot of stuff. Now, I would learn more if y'all was y'all, but, you know, I've, I, I understand enough of it for this, for the scope of this video. So I'm going to say, got it. Use Core Web Vitals to report to see how your page performs based on real-world usage data. That Core Web Vitals is a big thing. July, June, July, August 2021, things changed. Core Web Vitals are things, you know, like the page speed and all that kind of stuff. And you really, it's important to make sure your page is fast and that people like your page. So now we're going to go over here on the left. We're at the Google Search Console. So go over here, scroll down, click Settings. Now we're going to click Got It. Associations. Now we have to do this to get everything working smooth. Click that. Associated Services. Connect a Google Analytics property to this property. This is where it links together to get all your data. Select your uh, analytics there. Continue. And look at that. Everything looks good. Associate. And it's creating a Google Analytics Association. And there it goes. So now it's done. Now it's connected. So when you go over there, when you go over there to Google Analytics, it'll all be connected now. This will allow is, I don't know why I clicked Analytics over here, but this will allow, so this could take up 28 days. It could take a little while. That's why it's the first thing I do. So go directly to it. Just go to Dashboard and then scroll down and then click Analytics. If you want to go over to Analytics, Search Console on the we're on this side if you want to go there. But I just want to show you something real quick over in Analytics. All right, so I'm just going to click Save on that. Leave it all as it is. Got it. So I'm dismiss that. Yeah, I might want to go do those things. It's like I said, it's not the scope of this one. I'm just showing you how to get it set up. So we start getting data. So in Analytics, you see over here, 
you're going to want to scroll down one of my favorite pages right here. So search console right there. Queries right there. I get a lot of data from this. You're not going to see it right here. Not yet, but once the site starts getting traffic, they'll start telling you what the search queries are, how your position on those queries are. It's it's very, very good information. You can set the dates to see how it's going. You can go way back or see current. But that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. I'm going to close out of this. Close out of that. And there's my email showing that it was all... Security alert, Sitekill was granted access. It's now associated. We've created the improved search presence. Here's how to do some of that. So you'll get several emails from them about everything, but that's, that's it right there. That's all there is to setting that up. So now when we go to our website, let's go to our exotics. Now you don't see any difference here, but it is all set up. So you can also see I should have done a speed test right before this, but y'all saw when I created the other video. If you haven't, go back and look and you can see the speed was good. So page speed insights. I suppose we don't really have to go this route through it anymore now that we've got it set up on the website. But if we just click it right there, paste in our exotics.net, our website. Remember the HTTPS. So, and then we're going to go ahead and do a speed test now that we have Google Analytics all set up. Now, we haven't set up any other caching or anything else I'll talk about later as speeds up the site, but 97, that is fantastic. Just fantastic. That's on mobile. Mobile first, everybody. Desktop, 100. Desktop's a lot easier. Mobile to get a 97, that's good. So every time you create a website, no matter what you're doing, mobile first. You want it to look good on a phone because... Nine times out of 10, well, maybe eight times out of 10, depending on what kind of site you are, people are coming into your site off mobile. You need that is very, very critical. All right. And like I said, you can do the, um, when you go to our dashboard, just get familiar with your WordPress dashboard. Put a site kit dashboard. And we can scroll down and page speed insights. Remember, look, it's right here built in now. So you don't even have to go to the other website to do it, but it'll give you some information there. Now you can get more details right there. Then it'll pull up your website. It'll pull that up and give you the details we saw a while ago. So that's how you do that. It gives you some tips, you know, what to do to speed things up. Even though our site is super fast, we'll still want to go through and anything we can clean up or speed up. We may want to go in there and do it, but but our site's running ridiculously fast. So that's all. I just want to show you all that, how to get set up with Google Search Console and Google Analytics. And keep watching my videos because I'm going to show you all how to make some extreme killer SEO content that just grabs Google. We're going to go out. We're getting, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer Google search results. I mean, literally find out why sites are ranking in the top 10 and get that data that makes your site rank that, write your own content that mimics that kind of stuff, whether it's your own unique, unique content, it's yours, but it utilizes what Google believes is the most critical to be that. Now, hopefully you have good content. So when you do that, Google sees that and it's going to work good in the long run for you. So stay tuned. We're going to get really into some really cool AI tools and stuff. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. We'll see you all in the next video.